Okay guys, uh, I'm playing the strong guy here, uh, like I don't have, I don't feel the cold, but <laughs> actually I do. So uh, in this video I'm gonna show you, I make a, a short review of a piece of kit uh, of um, apparel I have that is really great. Now uh, you all know that this is the Swedish army um, smoke. But you also have seen my SAS smoke from Arctis and its evolution. This one, it's the SAS Daggerline uh, smoke made by Steinbrücker. And so today what I'm gonna show is a kind of mix of those jackets. An evolution that I really really liked the first time I've seen it and now I own it and I really like it. This is that Daggerline Swedish smoke. So, uh, let's go through this uh, equipment and see why I <laughs> like it so much because I can, I really can say it's uh, pretty much my favorite jacket now for the outdoors. So guys, uh, I keep updated and I will show you that in a few seconds. Okay guys, so this is uh, the new smock that Daggerline Stein Steinbrück uh, has made. It's um, the Guerrilla Anorak uh, from Daggerline. You've known uh, about those because of the black smoke I've shown you before. Uh, this is a really great jacket for many reasons. First, I'm gonna talk about the fabric. Uh, as you may see, it's uh, some ripstop cotton and it's really tough. And the Tex layer that is inside the weatherproof tex isn't uh, directly applied on uh, the, the external external shell so this means that when you go inside of the brushes you won't rip uh, the, the the inside layer so this is uh, a very good thing now I'm gonna talk a bit about the design the design it's pretty much the SAS smoke it's a bit shorter but it's uh, it's really nice uh, it's falling and uh, almost at the butt and you know just to protect a, a little down uh, the waist uh, it's it has the same cut around the arms than the SAS smoke this means you have a really tight fit around the shoulders but a really uh, large array of movements you can do for tactical people you have you really have a nice movement for drawing a weapon or just moving your arms around it's really really well made now as you may see you don't have uh, as many pockets as on the SAS smock uh, you have mainly one uh, central pocket this pocket has two I don't know if you will see that it has two inside smaller uh, separations to put AK, a, uh, AK uh, mags or stuff like that but you can put your map inside everything you may need for uh, you know a hike or something like that you have two pockets here which are really uh, practical for putting your your stuff and I've tried that with a backpack when you take your backpack with uh, the central um, and the chest uh, pectoral uh, strap it just right nice you don't have uh, anything that that goes on the way of uh, the straps of your backpack so this is really practical now um, you have a waist cord to have a tight fit around the waist but also to avoid wind getting inside you have um, a cinch cord around the rim of the jacket you can set the the opening of the, the channels, the sleeves, so this is pretty practical. You have, as on the SAS smoke, a nice little pocket here with a snap button. On the other arm you have this, stra uh, this uh, map pouch, which is really practical if you want uh, to have information like uh, Toki channels change or uh, a small map of the area you're walking in but the, the nice thing you have it's that they added a second um, velcro pad here so you can put your uh, map on the arm to have your information available 
here you know it's it could be really practical if you put it in the other way so you have your information I have my finger is really cold I'm sorry so you can access your information here if you're left-handed it's also uh, practical now you have a nice little pocket here for practical for uh, I use it for my compass usually it's uh, a really nice jacket for that and the elbow pads here you have two uh, it's um, I think 600 or 1000 denier, deniers um, nylon and you can fit inside you have velcro pads here so you can open that and put uh, some sleeping mat or something to to protect your elbows um, when when doing tactical stuff I don't know <laughs> do what you want with it and you have um, pads velcro pads here on the chest on both sides to add some um, patches you also have velcro tab here and here it's the big one sorry so you can also add pretty much what you want here uh, the opening you have three buttons it rides really uh, high so you can really protect your mouth uh, when using the hood like so you have here a cinch strap a cinch strap for your hood to protect uh, to um, set it to the size of your head and two cinch cords around to make really a hood uh, the way you, you want it. Sorry. <coughs> now you have in the rim here a little piece of wire that allows you to form it in a nice shape. So here you can see I won't close all the buttons but well, this is pretty much what you can get. It raises really really high so you you can really protect protect your mouth and your face in the cold weather uh, now what else um, yes another thing is that as you may see here inside the pockets you also have a layer of text this means that all your pockets are protected from uh, rain and stuff like that which is really practical uh, if you want to, to protect a map or something like that the flap here hasn't text inside but as you may see it folds over so this part is totally closed and waterproof weatherproof uh, which is really practical now um, I've tried this jacket for uh, not a long time I have it for uh, something like uh, a week or so um, but it's really uh, the same quality as the big one now they also have that one I don't know if they still do but it's the exact same one made out of uh, flecktarn for the German army I think uh, you pretty much won't be able to order them because uh, it was one of the late last model the cotton around is waxed so it's really weatherproof uh, and it's a, a really nice quality but the one you may be able to find uh, still found are those uh, you have them in several colors uh, this one is a, a tan kayachi tan and some uh, OD green on the chest and on the pads here but um, they still have some models so if you're interested in them uh, they cost something I I'm not sure uh, I have to verify but um, go on their website or just call them they all speak English they can um, give you the information needed uh, they are really really great and comfy I'm really really glad to have uh, bought this one because it's really practical it's not uh, like a Swazi anorak but it's uh, pretty much what I wanted it's weatherproof windproof comfy practical you just have the pockets you need for your stuff um, it's really really a great uh, piece of equipment. I'll try to add some stills at the end of this video so you can see how it looks. Uh, I will show you the main features of uh, that jacket. Now um, you can uh, go to that website here uh, e-point break uh, e-dash 
pointbreak.com and you can ask f them for those they don't have a lot it's a one-shot item so if you're interested uh, I would suggest you try to uh, take a look uh, pretty quickly because I'm not sure they still have all the models in all the sizes so just show you around hope you're able to see with uh, the pretty dim light and well guys I just wanted to share you with you this piece of equipment that is really uh, comfy and um, really a nice piece of kit for those who like the Swedish uh, smoke Swedish army smoke to go out bushcrafting it's really a nice piece of equipment and I'm really uh, glad to have it. I trust guys and see you soon bye bye